Chris, what is our second main topic today? This one comes from Christopher. I find it weird that we don't hear people talk much about the two of the best comic book movies of all time, Hellboy. I love these movies, especially The Golden Army. I saw that Ron Perlman himself is now saying he wants another one and that they owe it to the fans to give it to us. With Perlman behind it, do you think we can finally get Hellboy 3? I'll tell you what, man. Those Hellboy movies, they came out at a time before the Golden Age started. Right? Like it's it's one thing to try to look back on those now, but you got to understand when Hellboy and Hellboy 2 came out, that golden age of comic book movies that I really think was really kicked off with um, X-Men. That kind of what kicked it off, but it, it wasn't really there yet. It hadn't reached that pinnacle yet. The process had started, but Hellboy came out when comic book movies were not yet the coolest things in the world. And Ron Perlman, Clay from Sons of Anarchy, he comes out there as Hellboy and he owns that role. All due respect to David Harbour, who I didn't think I didn't think he did a very bad job portraying Hellboy in that 2019 version. I mean, the movie was crap, but it yeah. wasn't his fault per se. But I mean, this guy, he's the guy. Perlman's the guy. And we loved it. And then the second one came out. Now, I'm going to admit, I didn't like the second one as much as the first. I think I know a lot of people, Rob, I think you might like the second one better than the first, if I remember correctly. A little bit. A little bit. And our viewer clearly did. I didn't quite like it as much, but a lot of people liked it even better. But the bottom line was, it was still hitting on all cylinders. Yeah. It was still hitting really well. But then it disappeared. They wanted to do more. Never really happened what ha happened. So anyway, now as years passed, and Ron Perlman is now in his 70s, but there apparently is still a love and a desire from a lot of people to want to see this done, and Ron Perlman himself kind of feels that they need to do this. This comes to us from the folks of Slash Film who write the following. As he bluntly and hilarious puts it, am I eager to do Hellboy 3? No, I'm 71 fucking years old. <laughs> but that's not to say that he doesn't support the cause anyway. Perlman goes on to wax poetic about the duology's unfinished business and the countless fans who would be eager to receive a continuation, even throwing in a personal plea to Guillermo del Toro himself in the process. We owe this to the fans and we should give it to them because it would be an epic conclusion. So Guillermo, if you're reading, I'm not done pounding you to get this fucking thing done, says, says Perlman in only the way Ron Perlman can say it. And then Perlman says... You know, my kids still call you uncle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's Paul do Walker let's wanted do for, you to do Paul this. Paul Walker wanted you yeah, to do this. Yeah, let's do it for Pablo. <laughs> family. <laughs> Just copy and paste whatever Vince said and replace Rock with Guillermo. This Guillermo, come back. <laughs> come back, Guillermo. Let's get this done. So they ask a very interesting question. Okay, well, listen, you got Ron Perlman now getting on board with this. And he's now banging his chest and saying, we need to do this. Not that we should, not that I'm open to it. We need to do this. We need to do it to the, for the fans. We owe it to the fans. They want this. The people want this. The millions and millions of people want this. They want Hellboy 3. So can this actually happen? No. No, it ain't going to happen. It ain't, it ain't going to happen. And, and I'll tell you why it's going to happen. Don't take it from me. Take it from Guillermo del Toro. And here's why this thing can happen. Now, if you guys will remember, back when this was all kind of coming about, Guillermo del Toro and the head of Legendary Pictures, like they had met. And basically, Guillermo del Toro gave his pitch for the movie. Sorry. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro gave his pitch for the movie that at the time, they said, this is going to cost like $200 million to make, to make this. And Guillermo said, I'm not compromising on my vision. And good for him. But he wanted to make the most expensive one. Now, I think he did compromise a little bit, and they got it down a little bit. But here's the reality, and here's why it's going to be really damn hard for it to ever happen. When you look at Hellboy 1, Hellboy 1 made worldwide a grand total of $99 million. Okay, this is fine. Remember, this was before comic book movies were the biggest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. The second one came out. Much bigger budget. The, the second one's budget was around the $80 million range. Made $168 million. Okay, that's an improvement over the first. Uh, but let's call spade a spade. Any movie comes out, any comic book movie comes out today makes $168 million. We're calling that thing like one of the biggest crash and burns in the history of the, of the genre, right? Now, it's in that context that Guillermo del Toro kind of puts this thing to sleep. Now, this is a quote from back in 2017 from the uh, outlet Den of Geeks. 
But this is important stuff. Listen to this. From 2017, the hard fact is that the movie's going to need about $120 million, because remember, he pared that down from the $200 million initially. The movie's going to need about $120 million, and there's nobody knocking down doors to give it to us, says Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> it would be great to complete the trilogy, but in a way, I don't see the world, the industry, supporting the idea. The final roll of the dice appeared to arrive early in 2017 when Guillermo del Toro tweeted that if he got 100,000 likes on Twitter, that he would arrange a meeting with Mike Mignola, of course, the creator of the comic book, and Ron Perlman to discuss Hellboy 3's future. Unsurprisingly, del Toro's tweet got plenty of attention, not the least of which of here on Den, uh, Den of Geek. One month later, though, del Toro finally put those hopes to rest. Sorry to report, Del Toro wrote, spoke to all the parties, and I must report that 100% the sequel will not happen. And that was Guillermo Del Toro wow. back in 2000. Don't give me your math and your figures <laughs> and your facts. There is a bright <laughs> side, John. <laughs> What's that? As far as legendary and Guillermo Del Toro are concerned, you know what we got instead? We got Pacific Rim. Damn right oh yeah. yes yeah, yeah. one of the grim, greatest baby. one of the greatest times i've ever spent in a movie theater with guillermo del toro in attendance about four months before that movie opened was in that theater and Man, oh that movie was my god awesome. I, I love the first and by the way like guillermo del toro we've had back when i was at amc and stuff like we had a lot of big names come into the studio it was a fun day that guillermo del toro came into our studio that was a really cool day. Perry did the, the did the interview with him. Did a terrific job interviewing him. Mm. Oh, that was boy, do I love Pacific Rim. Oh, too bad. What about Not, Pacific Rim? I don't want to talk about that. No, we, oh, don't, no, we, I, don't, I, we don't, don't talk about, about Bruno. Two was good too. <laughs> I liked it. I big I robots, baby. Like big robots. There were big robots. Yep. And Charlie Day becoming <laughs> psychos. I don't know what Charlie Day was doing that, but I love Pacific Rim. It's, and I mean, you're I right. We too. got that. So. Look, I get it. You got Ron Perlman saying, we should do this. We owe it to the fans. And blah. But this was a road Guillermo del Toro five years ago tried to go down. He couldn't get the money then. I don't think he'd get the money now. And it seems like he's already put it to bed. Like hearing that Ron Perlman is even saying, like, del Toro, I'm going to keep pounding you on this. I'm going to keep pounding you on this. And I don't think he means it in a date kind of way. But I'm going to keep pounding you on this. It sounds like maybe he's been trying to wear him down over the years and del Toro isn't budging. And I, I'll tell you right now, whatever budget Del Toro would want to make today in a Hellboy 3, it's going to be a hell of a lot more than 120 million bucks. Today, that's what he's going to want to do. He's got a Best Picture Academy Award on his mantle now. Yeah. And so that price is just going up. So listen, do I want to see Hellboy 3? Hell yes, I want to see Hellboy 3. But are we going to get it? No. Nope. I don't. Thanks so, Chris. Let me throw it over to you. Do Why you can't think I get the things that I want? I don't have a PlayStation <laughs> Five. I don't get a Hellboy Three. I... By the way, and let's let's not forget they did make another Hellboy movie. They did, and I was very they excited did. about that one. And, and then I saw it and went, "Oh no!" Yeah. Yes. And, and what do you think that did to the chances yeah. of them doing oh, it, a Hellboy Three? It, it, it dropped a nuke on those chances. Well, yeah. And Guillermo del Toro stuff is so wonderful and beautiful with all those practical effects and the makeup and everything. And that's what I want from a Hellboy. I want to be immersed in that universe. I just want this. If I'm really good this year, <laughs> can I have this Guillermo, please? And we even got that the uh, the spinoff movie, the Hellboy spinoff movie, which B B P I D, B the one with Ryan Reynolds oh, and oh, Jeff yeah. Bridges. Was that uh, they, did, they didn't really connect that though. Well, but it is a spinoff, you know, in from a, in a way, Mignola's yeah. comics. So, mm. but yeah. But I, I mean, so Rob, you're looking at this. number one. Let me ask you this: Do you want even uh, listen? Because a lot of people have moved on, right? So maybe you don't. But do you want a Hellboy three? But then being realistic, do you? Do you think there could be a chance that we could get it done? No. And and I think, you know what? Here's the thing. It's great that we got two Guillermo del Toro Hell, uh, Hell, Hellraiser, Hellboy movies. The same way it was cool that we got I'd a I'd see Guillermo a del Toro Hellraiser film. We, I would too. <laughs> I, I, we got a Guillermo del Toro Blade movie. So I think it's great that, you know, rather than concentrate on what we didn't get, I always like to concentrate on what we did get. And uh, I think that was an embarrassment of riches the way it was. I mean, if you think about Blade 2, Hellboy 1 and 2, Pacific Rim, hell, even his director's cut of Mimic. Come on now. We've gotten a lot of good Guillermo del Toro stuff. Let's not even talk about the Devil's Backbone, Kronos, or Pan's Labyrinth. Oh. I mean, he has oh given us some world-class fantasy cinema, let me tell you. 
So I'd rather see something like another extension of where, and even uh, what was the, you know, the haunted house movie that he did? The, oh, that he did with Jessica Chastain. Yeah, the the, the, the ghost Peak? Crimson Peak. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. His animated stuff, the whole Troll Hunters world that he created on Netflix is amazing. And the, the Pinocchio movie, the Pinocchio we're thing getting. Coming, yeah. Which begs the question: Would at this point doing all, would Del Toro even want to go back? Yeah, is that a doing of his time? No. I would say no. I think he's got better things to do. The time has passed for what that. What about what I want? I mean, I, I would like it, though. I'm not going to lie. I would like it, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about all this? Number one, would you guys like to see a Hellboy 3 with, even if he's 71, a 71-year-old Ron Perlman? That's what prosthetics are for, dude. He could all of our asses. He, he, absolutely, he could. Yeah. He's still clay, man. He's still clay. But then beyond that, what do you think of the realistic chance? Do you really think that maybe it could happen? Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.